Why? Tech Rabbit here. Thought we could have a look at how to use bipolar transistors to create a um, constant current source. Let's have a look. So, anyway, here's the first circuit. And it, um, it looks like this. So you've got, now this is called a mirror. A mirror configuration, so you have a transistor circuit on this side. A voltage divider, basically, which sets the the um, voltage at a level where you get around 1.4 milliamps going through this edge and then because that is the same transistor type then you get the same voltage there and then you can have a uh, the idea with constant current sources that even if we swap out this um, load to different values it will adjust the voltage over the load um, so that we um, get the same current. So let's have a look and see it in operation. So I've got the load here, I've got two different resistors options, and a voltage meter for measuring the voltage over the load, and then I have a um, digital meter to do the current. So, it's, oh, so let's put it on. So that's plus minus 15 volts. As advertised, around 1.4 milliamps. And then if we have a look at the voltage, it's a little bit around 5 volts. So um, let's see if we change to a, a different load and see what happens. So I've added a radically different load, much smaller resistor. And as you see, there's 1.48, 1.47 milliamps, and the voltage has dropped quite significantly so you get like a half a volt left over the load. So one can see that this is a quite a use, usable um, constant current source. Um, it holds quite, quite well to the um, promised current between um, switching between different load types. But this load is a, a little bit extreme. And um, the other hint for getting this to work is that um, don't do the same mistake I did as the first time I connected this so I put the transistors the wrong way around. <laughs> Got very interesting results. So anyway here's some um, slightly different circuit. Might argue it's a bit simpler. Um, and basically you create the voltage divide instead of using the transistor which is partially short circuited um, you use um, two resistors and does the same effect of setting the voltage level at a certain position and then a certain amount of current goes through there and then it also um, fixes the current independent of the load so let's see how this works and here again is an arbitrary resistor as a load and, and then you get like 1.4 so those are the two most simplest circuits to use um, if you want uh, as some um, current um, constant current sources. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, the links are in the comments. And uh, all the contributions will go towards developing the channel. And uh, see you in the next one.